Hey, welcome back. We are uh, building a CRM here. So let's take a look at our planning document here. This should be video four. And uh, things we wanted, right? So we wanted to have accounts, which we have, contacts, which we have, and activities, which we have. So activities are associated to contacts. Contacts are associated to accounts. Great. Let's do some looking around real quick, and we'll just go through what we have the ability to do in this preview already. So what I did was I went to the dashboard page. So dashboard doesn't have anything. Eventually there's going to be some data here we're going to actually use for looking at. So when you log in, you'll see, hey, here's sales and stuff. Accounts page is where we've done all of our work so far. So we go in, we click on our test company one. You can see contacts, you can log in other activity. These are all of the activities here. So if I log an activity here, I can say, I left a voicemail, we have a title, it's gonna to default to today, but I could say, yeah, I did this yesterday and forgot to log it, and I can leave notes. Voicemail. There we go. So, with the voicemail. But I can't see inf any info inside of these, right? So that's that's actually a problem. So I might have emails I want to take uh, that I copy and paste into here that I want to take a look at. I might um, log call information that I want to go in and I want to take a look at. So I need to make these into hyperlinks, and I need to have a page that I'm going to go to to view the information that's already in this. So let's go back to our page with the view account. And we're gonna make it so we can now see what this data is. So let's take a look at what we called out here. So cells, activities, activities, types, display. So let's just delete this now. Great. And we are going to drop a link in here. And links can send us to other, other sites, other pages. We're, and we're going to use it to send this to another page. So, current sales activities, activity type, just display. Great. So, let's just make sure that kept the same names so we can see it said voicemail, email, then add a blank space. So, if it shows up the same way when we refresh the page. Great. We refreshed the page and it went to not having a company on the page. So there we go. It does, but the links just take us right back to the main page because we haven't told the link to do anything yet. So we need to have it send us to an internal page. We can send it to internal or external. So we're going to dictate internal. Then we need a new page to send it to. So we want to be able to view a historical task. Great. Sorry, historical activity. I'm going to move this name down. And cleaning up the way this looks will be done at the end, um, kind of changing different things. So the layout might look a little bit different. This layout works pretty well because you have like contacts and then activities with those contacts. This might get shifted up. Um, the bar might have a color that changes on it just so it has um, like a gray instead of just white. But let's make this next page. So let's make a page that we are going to call details. We'll clone that from log activity. I'm going to explain why I'm going to clone that from log activity. So this is going to be the type of contact that got sent over with type of activity was contact. So we need to change that to activity because we're going to pull a bunch of activity data. Um, but I wanted to pull that info because what I want to do is I want to keep these boxes here so you could edit the activity if you wanted to and you could change it and you could save it. Um, but what I also wanted to do was easily be able to grab that data. So this is just going to still pull all those activity types. I don't need to do anything with this drop down. I do need to change this because it says log activity and I'm going to change it to activity with and then the rest of this doesn't work because we were calling out info on the page. So we're going to delete all of this section here. 
and we are going to do a search for a contact the contact meeting ID will equal current pages activities contact great and that should grab just um, we'll just grab the first item there because it should grab one person first name and then we could go grab the, their last name too which would make sense so oops there we go. that and then space and then we will do it again we'll do a search for a contact with their unique ID equal to current page activities contact and then we will grab the last name so and actually I messed up a little bit here so I said grab the first item is what we need to do on the first one right so this one I want right to last item so I almost made a mistake there so what I want to do is I want to go to search contacts first item got the first items last name so basically it's going to do a search for that individual uh, that unique ID and since there's a it's a unique ID. There can be only one thing. So we grab the first item of that list because it's a list of one. And we say, great, we want the first name. Great, we want the last name. And now it will say view activity with then the names of those people. Um, this says choose an option. We can do, we have a default value here, but we might want to do the change it, right? So it defaults to call because that's how we set up on the page that we cloned. But since we're coming over here, we should go to current pages activities, activity type, we should default to that. And that way, if this is a call, it will say call. If this is a voicemail, it will say voicemail. And then here, the initial content should be the current pages activities, activity title. See where we're going here? We're just going to end up making it so it is actually just taking all this info we already have in this activity because the page we're at is going to send activity information over right current pages activities date formatted as this does not want to carry over this way here Current pages activities date should just grab the date. Hmm. I forgot what I'm doing wrong here. So here's what I did wrong. I'm trying to grab a date for this, right? It's a date and time picker. But when I initially entered that data, I put it in as a text field. So if I go back and I redo that with this is a date field, I can have it shoot the date over to here and have it be so that the date will actually just be changeable here. So I could change the dates of activities retroactively if I wanted to. Um, for the sake of simplicity here, I am just going to change this to text real quick. So we can keep chugging along with this portion. And we will likely go back and change it later. So we will go insert current pages activities date. There we go. So that will grab the date. And this one needs to have initial content of the current pages activities activity notes. There we go. Now this log activity um, will change to save changes. And the button does something different now. So it used to create a new activity and then go to the view account. Now we want it to do something different. So we don't want it to do that. We want it to, let's delete both of these real quick and we'll just redo the whole sequence here. So when we push this button now, we want to add in things, make changes to a thing. We want to change the current pages activity 
Move a few fields along change. Let's just add all the fields. It's a little bit faster. Great. So account, that doesn't need to change. Activity notes, now equal, well, I didn't put activity notes, value. Activity title, now equals input activity title value, activity type. Should be drop down A's value. Let's just go back into a little chart just to make sure that yeah, this one is designated as drop down A. I like to go back sometimes and check and make sure that I didn't accidentally drop a um a box behind a box or anything. It it just makes it easier and cleaner in the long run to double check. So contact will be this activities contact. And the date will be page activities date. There we go. We're not allowing sales reps to change dates because I don't want them to go in and adjust dates on things um, when they're editing the activities. I would rather have them delete and re-enter at that point. So that is a simple way to click on that, view the notes, and come back. So if we go back to the account, if we click on this, right now it doesn't take us anywhere, but now we can have it set so that it will go to activity details, and it will send over the current sales activity. We can even have it open a new tab if we wanted to, which would make it shoot off to the side here and keep the account page open. I'm going to leave it all on one page because I've been doing that the entire time, but it's a good feature to know about if you've got something where you'd want you know, things opening in other tabs and that main page continuing to stay open. Let's load for a second. Great. Accounts page. Go back to test one. Fill door, fill it fake doors. We'll check out this voicemail now. And there we go. We have all of these notes. This is when we did it. This is the call. I can change it. Here's the title. I can change all of these and I can save the changes. So let's make sure it works. And that's what I did wrong there. So notice when I pushed that button, I didn't go anywhere. So not log activity is activity details is the page. So if I click save changes, all I do is make changes. I didn't navigate back to the view account page. So now I need to do go back to the account page and I want to do a search for an account and I want the unique ID of that account and then I would like the current page activities account and I would like the first item of this list because it's only using a unique ID there should only be one and that's the account I want to go back to Great, so let's go back to here, and it says to refresh, so I will refresh. Also need to add a space here, because it just says with bill, all is one word, we don't want that. Let's go to accounts, let's click on test, and we will click on email. And there we go, no changes. I want to click save changes, it will save all these and it will send me back to here. Great. One thing I also did just noticed is that the, if you look here, it says 05. Um, and then the detail page actually says um, 04, because um, that was what I had entered in. So what I need to do actually is I need to go back to edit something here. Because when I did my, oh, I'm on the right page already, good. So 
under view account, I have this set to creation date. What I need is date. I need to just grab that date. Preview. That will work a whole lot better because I'm saving that date. I want to pull the one I'm actually saving, not just when it was created because, like we said, maybe they did something yesterday they wanted to log today. There we go. Now it's actually saved in there correctly. For the dates from the time picker. Wonderful. Please subscribe. I'm going to be making more of these videos. Thinking about building a um, solution for how to build quizzes, just because I'm curious about how to build the functionality. So you could basically put up a video and add a quiz to it, up to a certain number of questions, however many you wanted, with four answers, and it would basically give you scores on what people did after like watching a video and doing it. It sounds like a good challenge. Um, I think I'm going to make that video just for fun. Um, in the middle of taking a break between making all the tutorials on how to make the CRM. It's because the CRM gets a little tedious um, at times going through all the little tiny steps. So if you want to see that, let me know in the comments. And if you subscribe, I will be more motivated to make more videos.